So, let's talk character design. Everybody knows that character design can either make or break a character. It doesn't matter what visual medium we're speaking about here, be it comics, movies, or video games. If your character design is good, your characters are memorable, they're relatable, people will want to look at them. There's a multitude of principles when it comes to character design. Things like shape, contrast, and color all matter. I could talk infinitely about them, but today I'd like to talk about 2D character design, specifically when it comes to animated movies. A month ago or so, a curious individual by the name of Ben Smunori has left a comment on my game's Game Jolt page, with a link telling me to watch this movie and make the backgrounds look like it. It turned out to be a Richard Williams work by the name of The Thief and the Cobbler, Recobbled Cut Mark IV specifically. It's a very cute movie, it has a very cute but simple plot, which doesn't take away from it at all really, but what is so special about it is that it's an animated masterpiece. It was the magnum opus of Richard Williams' life. He'd worked on it for 30 years before the project was taken away from him to be sold to Disney, who then completely reshaped it and turned it into Aladdin. I was mesmerized by the movie and shaken by the design choices that were made by its animators and artists. I'll talk about the backgrounds in a separate video. Right now, I want to focus on the character design. Some of its characters are incredibly geometric. Tack the Cobbler is a circle with a very long rectangular body and limbs. The Thief is very triangular, although you could say that he's more of a trapezoid. Zigzag the Grand Vizier is a square, and the Gizgars are barely more than squares, too. I looked at other animated movies then, and saw that simplification and, most importantly, exaggeration of some features is incredibly important for good character design. One could infinitely ponder why. The first thing that comes to mind is that exaggeration creates unique features that help distinguish the character from others. But really, this isn't the main focus of this video either. I'm recording this in one take and hastily editing it to get it out there, because I looked at my video game project, The Opera Ghost's Love Story, which is based on the Phantom of the Opera novel by Gaston Leroux, and realized that I could change everything, and I need your opinion. Look at these characters. They look fine, I suppose. You can see some distinctive features, and they look rather cartoony, but if you look at them, and then look at character design for of all the animated movies, it looks really bland. It's because all of these people have similar proportions, which implies some level of realism. None of their features are over-exaggerated. It's not bad, per se, but I wondered what these characters would look like if I applied the old animated movie character design principles to them. I chose geometric shapes, which would best suit each of these characters, judging by their personality. And then I redrew them based on these geometric shapes, thus simplifying their designs and exaggerating some core features. And here's the result. I was floored, to say the least. I scrambled to redo all of my character designs, trying out drawing my game's characters in a more geometric, cartoony way. I figured there could be various levels of simplification that I could apply. For example, this beautiful Persian woman. Her figure can be simplified into two circles. Taking it a step further, it could be simplified into just one circle. This immediately makes her memorable, and it portrays her personality in a much more obvious way. Now take Christine. She's just as ambiguous as the woman before. We could change her base form from an hourglass into a bent rectangle, which would give her a very melancholic look. We could simplify her and bend her core shape even further to create a very fluid-looking character, very melancholic, very dreamy. Now take Eric. His shape would obviously be a triangle, because the triangle is the sharpest and the most dynamic shape. Sharpen all his features to underline his dynamic nature. We could even give him saggy clothes, which would fit the canon of the novel. I tried to make him both a regular triangle and an inverted triangle. An inverted triangle would make him more imposing, while a regular triangle more gremlin-like, I suppose. The reason why I'm considering this change at all is because I get incredibly excited thinking about a video game made in an old animated movie style. Imagine a playable animated movie, basically. It's a very cool idea, one that I wanted to make reality with this project. I always describe the Opera Ghost love story as a 2D video game with old animated movie style animations, and I'd like to think that I'm at least facing the right direction with this one, but I never considered character design. However tempting the dreams are, the reality is this. We're making all animations that I have right now in the game would be a rather large setback. That'd be the first option. There are other options. I could do a compromise, leave all animations as they are right now, but continue on drawing in a somewhat changed style. That would eventually fill up the game with fluid, old animated, movie-inspired character designs. And when I get to it, I'll be able to redo the ones that I already have right now. 
And there is the third option. I could continue drawing and animating in the style that I have right now, without changing anything, since I agree that it has personality to it, and it, that it does look good in a way. It's not the question of the current design being bad. It's the question of could the current design be better in some way, more fitting for that kind of vibe that I'm trying to go with here. Please let me know in the comments. Have a nice day.